Hi, my name is Alan Habino, girls varsity basketball coach of the Lady Warriors Andover High School in Andover, Massachusetts, and welcome to my Chalk Talk. Once the huddle assist report comes back, um, it's like a deep dive into those statistics, right? Um, starting with um, that turnover offensive rebounds uh, kind of formula. And, and, I, and I called my buddy, it was one, actually a, one of my good friends from college who gave me the idea. And I said, you know, where did that come from? And I was like, or just re refresh my memory because I forgot. And he said, well, basically he determined, he said, if that number is under 20 offensive rebounds given up plus turnovers is under 20, that usually indicates a win. And if it's over 30, that usually indicates a loss. And so then, um, so I was, so the, the origin of it was I looked at four years worth of stats and I found that our number, like our sweet spot. And I think for other coaches out there, I think that number will vary depending on, you know, the makeup and the dynamic of your team. And we found that number to be 27, right? 27. So if it's under 27, um, generally speaking, I think, you know, in the last four years, we've lost maybe three games where if that number was under 27, we, um, we won the game. And so that's the first thing I looked at um, against Bill Ricca in, in the report. And it was 25, right? It was 25 and, and we won pretty comfortably. And, and, and that number would have been even lower, except that we got a little sloppy in the fourth quarter, um, you know, when the game got a little out of hand. But so, um, so in that sense, so that's like the first thing that I look at. How many turnovers did we have? We had 16 turnovers. How many offensive rebounds did they have? They had nine, 16 and nine. 25 so that's right under our number of 27 um, and again it, it's that number specific to our program right I, 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 would, I, would, I would imagine other coaches can do their own statistical analysis and find what number worked for them and um, it was you know pretty much in line with my friends thinking of it's somewhere in between 20 and 30. So then the other thing that I try to look at um, from specifically from this game, right, is I'll go to um, shot chart and I want to see where our shots come from. And really um, this shot chart is um, kind of honestly what we're looking for here. Shots at the rim, right, where we took um, the majority of our shots and, and shots from three point line, especially, you know, we get a lot of um, we get a lot of looks from the corners just from the way the spacing is designed in our offense. OK, and um, we really try to limit these mid range shots just because um, for two reasons. And it's and, and part of it. I mean, part of it is the math. Right. Long twos are um, not as efficient as um, three pointers, which are a point more just by taking like one step back over the line or you don't make them as, as a higher percentage as you would as if you were getting to the rim. But also it comes from our offensive spacing, right? You know, there's nowhere to drive if you've got another person standing right right where the 100% is right here. There's nowhere to drive. We're trying to create driving lanes for our, uh, for our team. And so that, that's um, another thing that I try to look at is our, um, just our, our shot chart, as our shot chart, um, to be honest. And then, um, and then, then I'll look at specifics from um, our opponent's box score, right? So it's a lot about, well, what adjustments do we have to make and what adjustments are they going to make before our next game? And so there, the top of our scouting report, it was two different players. It was number 11 and number 21. And you can see we held them to four points combined. Um, and I think part of it was our defense. Part of it um, was they just had an off night. So I can already expect that when we play them tonight, they're going to make a more point of emphasis to get them the ball this, with both the sets that they run and also just kind of as we try to impose some urgency on our, our girls, um, the, our opponent's coach tonight, um, he does a great job. And so he'll have them, you know, ratchet up, ready to go and say, listen, we can't win if you two only shoot 14 shots combined. So um, that's another piece of it. And then I like to see, honestly, some of these girls on the periphery who, you know, you know, who were, you know, from my scouting, maybe role players and things like that. And I try to see, well, what things that they do um, that were so successful. And I just noticed, right, you know, two of their players, you know, played a lot more minutes than I thought they were going to. And, and even though the stats didn't show, it means that, you know, their coach has a lot of trust in them. And so I think that's, um, you know, just something to be wary of. And I'll just say, okay, let me just take a quick look at, you know, what they specifically did um, on the court. And so I think that's, um, 
I think that's parts of the ways that I use the scouting report. And then what I do like to do is I'll take just an overall assessment um, of the season of how we're doing. So I like to look at just the whole season. And you can see that um, just to, you know, in part to take a look at the improvement and in part to look at to see what we still need to do um, a better job of. All right. So um, I look at this free throw factor um, regarding um, our opponents by game here. And meaning like I think we foul a lot <laughs> and, and we're trying to work on that, just trying to be a little bit better at it. So you can see there are a couple games. In, in this week, we let one girl go to the line 31 times um, over a two game period. And you can see why their free throw factor was so high. And then um, you can also see that, you know, in some of these games, I mean, like almost 50% of the shots that uh, Central Catholic took in a 27 point loss, they got an offensive rebound on. So we, we and we really tried to clean that up in the last week or so. And you can see that just by looking at the rebounding percentage, um, Again, it kind of validates kind of the message that we're sending. Like, all right, the numbers aren't lying here. We've we've made a real point of emphasis in the last you know six practices that we need to defensive rebound, and you can now see that you know we've done a much better job with that. And then as a result, right? As a result, because we're not giving up offensive rebounds, which oftentimes leads to open threes, leads to easy putbacks. Uh, our opponents. Uh, field goal percentage has also decreased over the last two, three games, which um, which has been great for us as well. Again, Alan Avino here. Thank you for uh, attending my Chalk Talk. I'm glad that you were able to tune in. Hopefully you were able to learn a couple things and I'll be happy to share anything else with you if anyone else wants to reach out.